In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the 4 A's with the Mecha Garen as the frontline comp. So, this is a very gold hungry comp, so it's more of a, you know, if you are really ahead in gold, if you have gotten maybe rich get richer, or if you got high end shopping, you maybe consider playing this because uh, if you don't hit the, <laughs> you know, Mordekaiser or Ace Emblem, uh, you can't play this because you really need a 4 A's because it jumps from 1 to 4. But uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. You play the four ace units. You have uh, Samira with uh, at least a Last Whisper, preferably. And then use random AD items. And then uh, what you really want on MF is, you know, a Spear of Sojin. Otherwise, you can build uh, pretty much any AP items. I like uh, inf instant damage items because uh, you don't really scale up in the fight that much. Because you execute them early, so... Uh, Archangel isn't as good in this comp, I would say, because you need to kill them fast. Because you're not really that tanky, the only frontline you really have is Garen, which is gonna tank for a while, but not that long. But I like items that scale with HP on Garen, such as uh, Bloodthirster, um, Dragon's Claw and Redemption, because he gets a lot of HP combined with the mech. So you really want items like that, it has more value than like a Warmox, but Warmox isn't a bad item. It's just not as good as the items that scale with uh, HP. And I like to put my Sunfire on uh, Fiddle because he jumps in, so he procs the Sunfire on everybody. And I like uh, to have a real tank items on Garen, otherwise it's really squishy. But you can build Sunfire on Garen, it's not bad, it's just... If you can build three tank items on him and put the Sunfire on Fiddle, that's better. And then you just put whatever leftover items you get on Mordekaiser. Uh, so the same thing as MF here, you want the instant damage like uh, Death Cap or you will gaunt that. But if you get just a random Thieves Glove on him, it works. He's not the like main carry. He will dish out a fair bit of damage, but the real carries like uh, Samira and uh, MF. So let's get into it. So we're kicking it off with my perfect opener. I love the bow start. I don't know. I just love playing Samira and Sure Shot, so you know, getting that first component towards the Last Whisper is exactly what I want. I don't know, I just hard force this comp every time I can play it. And we actually get an Esri layer, so maybe fingers crossed we can get an Underground opener if we're lucky. That's always fun. Oh, we actually got a lot of gold there. I think that was a mistake. We should have just sold for 10 gold there. But it's all good. We're just uh, holding the Esri for the Underground, but we could have sold the Esri and the... Uh, Draven used to get 10 gold that would then snowball the Econ. So, but at least we did it there the second round. And since we got this amazing Econ opener, I'm actually gonna sell here for um, 10 gold the last round. And now we're gonna sell to 30 gold. So it's a pretty good start. We're just gonna lose trick here. <laughs> I mean, there's a no way we're winning ever. But we're just uh, playing it for the long run, investing in those uh, TFT stonks. And uh, we actually killed a unit, so that's really good. Imagine if we killed two. Nah, ain't no way. So, we actually got a free two-star here somehow as well. So, to be honest, this is a really good start. We already are at 34 gold. We're actually killing units, so we're gonna be decently healthy. As well as just uh, scaling our econ like crazy. So, we're at 40 gold already. I'm just gonna so sell everything except GP there, so we can hit 40. So, a pretty decent opener overall. I mean, Lazy Corp opener with a Ginsu to hit the drone more often, and a 2-star Renekton. I mean, we're actually pretty strong, considering, you know, we have... Uh, we're basically down that combat augment, right? So, uh, it's looking good for us. Just trying to save as much HP as possible, so I'm gonna grab this Sunfire. It's always nice to use the burn their HP. So that's probably saving us a pretty nice uh, chunk of HP there as well. I mean, look at this guy, he's not even strong. So we're probably gonna win this as well. Very nice. And I also got a buy use for that Brawler, since we have a Renekton. And uh, we also have, uh, you know, some AD units, so... We're gonna remove their armor with that. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's our temporary um, last whisper. So I would actually level up here if I didn't have this augment. Because I would be able to stay over 50 gold and just play another unit. But since we play rich get richer, I'm just gonna, you know, 
Hold my units not level up just to sell them. So we're already at the 70 gold there at the first <laughs> Karag round. So things are looking pretty good. So I'm basically just trying to straight play my strongest board without rolling anything. So here we're actually going to sell our unit there. So just, we level up to 5 and get a better shop. So that level up made us get Aramus because we had the higher also petting a free cost. So we got the Ramus there. So that's basically, I don't want to roll, but if I'm over 70, I can level up because I'm going to level up anyway. So I can spend the gold on that. So that made us get another unit. And <laughs> this is not something I would recommend. Usually you shouldn't take more than one econ augment. I'm like breaking the rules of TFT here. Uh, <laughs> but I decided to go for a prismatic econ augment, even though I don't even have a single combat augment. So we're gonna actually be really weak here. Or, I mean, if you, you compare us to like other people who have two combat augments, uh, imagine they have like second wind and knife's edge, and here I am with uh, <laughs> two useless augments. But, I mean, if we can pull this off, it can be an easy first. Because uh, we're just gonna be so rich and we're gonna have such high shops. So we're basically level 7 now with the uh, uh, high end shopping. So once we get to level 7, in probably in the next turn, we're gonna start seeing 4% uh, or we're gonna start seeing 4% legendaries and 25% uh, at 4 costs when we're only, you know, at the. Uh, <laughs> Stage 3.4, so we're really ahead of the curve, which is great. So if I hit a random Samira here, we can actually be pretty strong. And somehow, I'm actually 4th place here. We're actually really healthy, so I mean, things are looking really good for us. So that's basically what you need to do when you play these comps. It's just, uh, you need to somehow be able to <laughs> get a strong board, even though you're really weak. So... We found the MF here, so I'm just gonna slam my um, Sojin on her. Um, so it's looking like, you know, a 4 ace game, right? We hit the early MF and uh, we're really rich, so we can just level up to 8 soon. And then we just get a random Mordekaiser and a Garen, and we're really set. Very nice loss here as well, only 3 units, so I don't really mind that. And we found that uh, Draven. <laughs> pretty good that we found him early because once we level up it's gonna be harder to find him right so <laughs> try to hold on him earlier so you're not in the situation where you need to find like a last raven same thing goes with Wukong you know when you're trying to play mech it's always so awkward and you hit everything except like the <laughs> random shitter one cost and boom that's an ergot so I'm gonna throw him in the middle hopefully farm something never mind we killed everything <laughs> before we could ulti and that's a two-star Draven right there. So, since we're... <laughs> and we just hit the more like that, so... Not gonna lie, we're pretty high rolling this game. So now I'm used to rolling to hit my 4 ace board. Because we're gonna spike big time. So, I'm basically saying bye-bye to Rich Get Richer for now. Um, since we're so close to hitting everything, right? We're gonna roll for Garen later, though. We don't need to roll for it yet. I'm gonna throw in that random fiddle. Always good, right? And, uh, yeah, it's last Whisper over, um, uh, Infinite Edge, I'm pretty sure. Last Whisper is just so nice. I had this random uh, Ginza, though. I planned on playing, like, Esril in the beginning of the game. But uh, this is not the Esril angle now. But it's fine. Ginza is not bad. It's not ideal, but it's not the worst, you know? Oh, we got two chests right there. Holy, that's actually so big. That's, uh... And uh, since we're playing, you know, uh, Samara carry, yeah, we just have to take that augment right. And we hit her in the shop, so that's a two star. Ooh, we're actually at five Samaras right now. Might actually be a three star angle. So, you know, we basically have a level nine shop right now. <laughs> so it's pretty good, right? Now I just uh, need to get rid of my old units, throw in that Garen so we can play mech. Um, so we're gonna sacrifice the Draven and just another random unit just so we can play uh, the mech right there. 
the Draven. Isn't that good? We just want to sacrifice him for the uh, mech and the ace bonuses, right? So I'm actually selling my Samiras here. It seems like a mistake because I just got a Samira in the next shop. So maybe I should have uh, hold on to them. But hey, you can't do much in hindsight, right? Easy to say in hindsight. Oh, look at that Garen ulti, by the way. First, he's stunning everybody, and then Fiddle jumps in and does his stuff. So it's nice, you know, Fiddle and the Garen, they, like, shoot everything and uh, make people low, as well as Mordekaiser. And then, you know, MF and Samira can just, uh, you know, finish the job and execute everybody with the ace. So AoE damage is very nice once you play this comp, because, uh, yeah, if you just get one bullet when they're below... 30% HP. That's gonna be a uh, execute right there. So that's what we like to see. And I'm st really starting to regret not picking up this uh, <laughs> Samiras. We actually hit the Urgot here. So uh, we actually at the 2 star Urgot and the 2 star Garen. But uh, I hit it too slow. So we're not playing them this round. Hopefully that doesn't make us lose. But we got a big Garen ulti there. As well as uh, MF ulting their team. Looks like uh, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, psych. The style and flair. Samir is resetting like crazy. And that was without the two star Garen and Urgot. So now we got them as well. So things are looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Uh, so basically, the only traits you really play is Ace and the Mecha. So. When you're playing the other units, it's just a random fiddle is really good. You just want to play like the strongest board. And really the strongest thing you can play is uh, a random fiddle and ergot. They work with everything. You strong threats, right? But uh, if you don't hit them, you can just play the strongest thing you hit. So maybe a, you know, random Aatrox or stuff like that. It's not gonna be as good, but you play what you hit, right? But you really need a lot of Econ to level up and, you know, hit this expensive unit. So that's why uh, this comp usually works better if you have, like, Rishka Rich or something like that. So basically my two options are to either go level 9 or is road for a 3-star Samira. And, I mean, we already hold 6 copies. So I think the choice is <laughs> pretty obvious right here. Uh, we're just gonna... Ooh, do we win this? Ooh, this Samira is cracked. So basically... I'm just gonna save up my gold and then we're gonna roll it down like crazy and fingers crossed we hit this Amira right here so we're risking it for the biscuit. The safe place is to level up to 9 so if you want to get a top 4 you can just level up but if you're feeling a bit risky like I am here you just go for the roll down and you hit the 3 star and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So now we're actually starting to get low here so I need to start rolling it down. Otherwise, we're actually gonna be in a bit of trouble, right? And the Gorgol is nice on Garen because it's basically our only front line, so we're just gonna have that. Oh, now we're only one away. I actually missed a more there, so, so that was a bit of a hint. Maybe we go for Free Star Urgot as well. I mean, we're not far away. Could do it. And once I get a 2 star Leona, I'm gonna switch out my Jax for. Uh, Leona is because she has more stats, more HP to give to Garen. So a bit of a, you know, min-max there. But two star Yax is gonna have more HP than a, you know, one star Leona. So I'm not gonna switch her out before we hit that. And this is actually a Tome of Trade. So this is a bit awkward. We basically have all the traits we really want. So uh, basically, I guess we have to go for mech here. So I really hope we get mech. Otherwise, uh, we don't really have anything. Or I guess a random ace could work, but... Now nah, we're gonna go for the mech here. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right play, but this is the play I'm gonna do. We're going mech fiddle. <laughs> Look at this, man. And with, you know, the um, bloodthirster, he's gonna have such a big shield. As well as him, you know, getting that uh, mech HP with the bloodthirster. Actually, a really giga shed. So, 2 star fiddle with a mech emblem. Pretty woke if I do say so myself. So we have the 3 star Samira popping off. Just look at this. But it actually dies. What? Okay. Are actually losing with a 3 star Samira? Hey, no way, man. 
What is this lobby? All right. I guess it's not enough. But we're gonna go to level 9 after this, this round. And we're just gonna throw in uh, 5 mech. Hopefully that makes the diff. Let's see what item do we want here. I'm actually gonna take Edge of Night. Because basically the only way we lose if it's my Samira like get one shotted by some random shenanigans. So we're gonna remove her and we're gonna give her a uh, random safeguard there. So she can't get one shotted. Because <laughs> otherwise we can't really lose right. So we're gonna throw on that GA on her. And I'm just gonna give my Ginsu to whoever. Sure MFU get it. Doesn't really matter. So yeah. <laughs> yeah now there's really no way we lose. With this a 4 ace. Hero augment. Samira with 3 items. Yeah looks pretty capped to me. So this is gonna be the last fight. Anyhow thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel. short sure subscribe for more TFT. Set 8.5 content. And leave a like. I appreciate it. And it helps me out. Peace out everybody.